So these are all the stickers that I've been restocking so far in this video. So I've got little piles of each of them now because I need to count them out to be sent to some shops that I'm stocked in. So I've got little stacks of each and they're all priced on the back. Hello and welcome to maybe the sweatiest studio vlog <laughs> in the history of my vlogs. I am roasting hot. It is a really sunny week here in the UK and I don't normally sit here. I normally sit where you saw me at the beginning of the video, over there by the window, which I did for the first two days this week um, and it was essentially working in a greenhouse and I just couldn't bear to sit by the window and have the sun directly on me so this morning I moved everything over here, um, reset up the desks, lowered the standing desks, reset everything up, brought the fan over. So I've got everything over here other than my big monitor because that's a bit of a pain in the bum to move. And I think I'm just going to have to stay here for the rest of this week. This week has very heavily been focused on reformatting all my stickers and I'm going to tell you why. So in a previous video, I mentioned that I was thinking of moving to getting my stickers manufactured and I was going to get round to it. It was like one of the next things on my to-do list. And then I needed to restock stickers in both of the shops that I'm stocked in and I didn't have enough and I had to print and cut so many stickers which is what you saw at the beginning of this vlog. And it hurt my heart a little bit because I'd kind of got to that point where I thought I really can't go on with this method of doing it myself. It's taking so, so long and the silhouette's playing up more and more, not helped by the fact that I dropped it recently on my foot. But I hadn't got round to reformatting my stickers ready to send off to the manufacturer so I had to do another run of printing and cutting so many by hand. So I'm trying to keep on top of stock levels now in my shop and it should in theory only be showing what I've got in stock and I'm just letting them run down at the moment. And so this week I've really really focused on getting these stickers reformatted. So what that has looked like is redesigning some of my old favourites. I wanted to update the designs so that they match a bit more of my current style because these first ones that I still sell were the three stickers that I initially designed when I launched my shop back in, I wanted to say it was March 2021, so more than two years ago and as is the way it goes, my style of illustrating has developed over that time and I've come to a way that kind of feels comfortable to me now and I like the look of it and I'm sure it'll continue to evolve over time but these ones don't feel like they match the more recent ones and so I wanted to go back and re-illustrate them because I love the designs and they are some of your favourites so I really wanted to bring them kind of up to matching the current style as well as tweaking some of the colours. So the other thing I've done is across the board I've tried to stick to a somewhat consistent colour palette although there are variations so a lot of them feature pink, yellow and blue which are my brand colours and I've also got a green and a lilac all the colours that featured in my recent anti-worry collection that I really really love and in my very first pin, the one day at a time pin. So I really, really wanted to unify things a bit by tweaking the colors. So I've done a lot of that, um, but obviously things like my sloth, it was gonna be all browns. So I've just tried to unify it across the board and the same with some new autumn designs that I've done, which I'll get to. Um, I then tied in those same brown colors with the sloth and yeah just made it a bit more cohesive and made sure everything was a similar style. I tidied up some of the old designs and I've been in and added text to all of my stickers because previously the text was something I added in Silhouette Studio when I was getting ready to cut my stickers and the same with the white border around the edge and obviously I won't be using Silhouette Studio anymore so I reformatted them giving them a white border around the edge and any text that needed to be on there I put on the design. I used Canva for a lot of that 
and I kind of switched between using Procreate for illustrating and Canva for the kind of text elements and I would then export just the text from Canva and then drop it into my Procreate file. It might seem a bit long-winded when you can add text in Procreate but there's two reasons I really like to do it this way. The first one is that I like to add an outline to my text and that isn't an automatic like easy option in Procreate but it is in Canva, you can just write whatever you need and then just add a stroke outline in whatever colour you want. And so it was really easy to kind of have a template for that using the same fonts and colours and things and just changing the text. And then because I am a Canva Pro user, you can then download images with a transparent background. So it would download just the text nothing in the background and I would then drop that over the top of my design. Whereas when I download the text as an image from Canva and just drop it in place, even if I move it around and resize it, it seems to retain its clarity and its quality. So that's the way I've decided to do it. It is obviously a little bit more long-winded, but I think it's worth it in terms of the clarity in the designs. I know that some people use Illustrator, for this kind of thing so that everything is a vector image and you're not losing any of the clarity. I'm getting technical about image types now but I personally prefer to just freehand draw in Procreate and so that's this kind of two software system that works for me, if that makes any sense. So I finished all my individual stickers and I did a little happy dance and then I remembered I've still got my sticker sheets to do. I started doing that again this morning but I wanted to let you know that while I was in the process of reformatting my stickers I came up with nine new sticker designs that I'm going to be releasing at the end of this month. Some of them match products that are already in the shop, some of them match products that are coming and there's one that was previously included in a Patreon box back when I was doing my Patreon Happy Mail boxes and I put a poll on Instagram to ask what people thought about bringing this to my shop update at the end of the month and having it open for purchase in my shop and it was a big yes so I have brought that to the shop as well. So I want to give you a sneak peek at some of my new designs now as well as me just finishing off formatting these sticker sheets and then I'll show you specifically what goes into that process and I want to take you with me on this journey of getting my stickers manufactured for the first time and showing how it goes from start to finish so let's go. Hi everyone, I have finally, it feels like, placed my sticker orders. It's been dragging on a little bit, I'm not going to lie, and I guess part of that is trying to find different manufacturers, trying to compare prices, and also doing that in between other things, but I'm finally there. I've ordered my stickers. I've gone with two different companies. I want to kind of compare. So I've got my standard die cut stickers and my sticker sheets from one shop and I've got my glitter stickers from another. So we'll see what they're like when they arrive. I'll be able to compare the two in terms of kind of speed, ease of ordering, the quality when they come, etc. Even though it's not a complete like for like and we will see moving forward. They're both UK manufacturers and for both of them with the ordering process you can order really easily online but I chose to email and ask lots of questions. For me, sometimes I'm not quite sure how to interpret the information that's on the website and in the ordering form. And I will say that with all of the sticker websites I've looked at, it's all pretty much the same. It is all pretty much straightforward, but here are some things that I learned. 
with my sticker designs, they're all different shapes and sizes because you're getting a die cut sticker, which means it's going to be cut exactly around the shape of whatever the image on the sticker is. And so for me, what I thought was, right, I am going to have to input the sizes of each individual sticker and then say how many I want of each. And then the lovely Joe from Upsa Daisy kindly messaged me with a tip <laughs> and I'm glad she did. And I then emailed the manufacturers to check what I would do in each situation. So the tip is, all the manufacturers I've spoken to, they go by material. So if you input the size of your biggest sticker in the dimensions, and then where it says quantity, add the whole quantity. So for me, I had 19 different designs and I wanted 100 of each. So rather than being charged the price for 100 stickers, I get the benefit of ordering 1900 stickers and having the price per sticker come right down. So if you are ordering more than one design in one go, I would suggest kind of saving them and batching them up as much as you can to be able to make use of that discount that you get from kind of economies of scale and being able to order a big amount. I don't think that's that obvious from the website. I thought I would have to put in each individual sticker and then say 50 of these, 100 of these. Um, and so what I did, just to make sure, was just email each company to say, this is what I want to order. Is this how I place the order? And the customer service was just so good. Everyone got back to me and said, oh, we'll just sort that for you now we, that you've emailed us. So they didn't make me go back on the website. They just said, well, now you've just emailed and explain what you've wanted. We'll just process it for you. And they just set up a link for me to pay and I was done. So that was fantastic. All the questions I had, people were more than happy to help. Responses were quick through the emails. And yeah, it was just great. So it is Wednesday, the 20th of September now. I go on holiday in two days. So tomorrow is my last working day. We're going to see how quickly these arrive and then when I get back I will open them up for you and show you the quality, the new designs and what I think of the stickers from each company. So I'll see you on the other side. So I've just got back from holiday and while I was away this huge box of stickers arrived and when I got home I was like oh what's in this big box? I can't think what I've ordered that's so big. And when I opened it and realised it was the stickers, I was like, whoa, this is a chunky, great big box full of stickers. So I haven't looked at anything and I'm ready to unbox them all with you now. So let's go. Okay, so we've got sticker sheets in the top. Oh, look at those colours. Oh, look at those colours. Some of these colours don't quite look like my colours, so I might need to tweak that going forward because that should be the same colour as that and it isn't. But anyway, we'll come to that. We'll come to that. Let's get them all out. Oh, look at those. They're so much more vibrant than the old style when I was printing them here. Ooh. Okay, and then these are all the individual stickers. Oh my God, they are gorgeous. I redesigned them all to have that similar color palette and they just look so adorable. And look how beautiful they are on the print quality. Oh my Lord. We've got these ones. <gasps> We've got the pants. Oh, they look so cool in that colour. Oh, come on now. We've got the shredders. They are adorable. The print quality is so cool. Oh, some of the new ones. Oh, everyone I see, I'm like, it's so much cuter than the last one. Are these the blackboard stickers? Yeah, they look adorbs. <gasps> oh, look, they're so cute. 
the quality is amazing this was such a good idea <laughs> even if i do say so myself look at those i will say these colors just all look no no they don't they don't actually compare in them they do look the same yeah then we've got oh my one day at a time they match the pin i've never had that in the shop before that's new my bullshit repellent stickers they are new oh, i've redesigned the turtle look at that i love the new design I've redesigned the sloth. <laughs> this is making me happy. Oh, these are new. Autumn is when coziness hugs us all. We've got... Oh, these are new. Oh my God, they are stunning. They might be my favourite. Look at those. Where is it? I don't know if you can even see these. I'm going to have to get them out of the packets. Oh, that's so beautiful. What's this? Oh, the rainy days. Rainy days, ready for autumn. Dare to be different. It's had a slight colour makeover. The mood boosting mascara is new to match the pins. And we've got the overthinking sticker in the new colourway. We've got these are new. Be a flamingo in a flock of pigeons oh they're sweet they've had a new color and a bit of a redesign when life gets unclear adjust your focus and mr snail has had a little redesign and that is the bottom of the box so shall we get one of everything let's look at the sticker sheets first Oh, they feel so soft so I've had everything in matte and they feel so buttery smooth it's unreal the colors are really vibrant the print quality is really great the cut lines look good and what I did this time was I added a white border around the stickers to stay on the backing sheet so when you peel them off this one, for example. Oh, I can't get it with my nails. There we go. There will be a bit of white border left around the sticker, if you can see. And that's just so if there are any minor shifts in the cutting, it's not going to be a problem. You're not going to have some of the yellow backing on it. So they're gorgeous. They're nice and thick. Nice matte finish. Oh, I'm excited by those. So I've grabbed one each of the old designs so you can see the difference. The new sticker sheets are a little bit bigger. They're a little bit smaller than A6 size. So if you've got an A6 book that you keep your stickers in, they will slot in really nicely. I don't know why that one's a little bit marked. So if we start with this one, I've updated the font on it and you can see that it's a deeper, like the blacks are deeper, everything's richer in the prints. I did a slightly different watercolour background but it still kind of mixes of yellow and pink and I just updated the backing so everything's got like my social media on it and stuff. Positive words and phrases. I might round the corners, I might not. Let me know if you've got a preference in the comments. And then like each individual sticker is all, um, yeah, it's cut around each little phrase. So you've got a whole sheet of positive words and phrases. These are much sturdier than these. It's a thicker paper, like a thicker vinyl. Um, I love the quality. So that's that one. The affirmations. I will say I think this has been a little bit sun bleached. I did have them by the window and I've now moved them. But the colours, as you can see, are a lot richer. But yeah, we've got this whole page of quotes. The design stayed the same with this one, but just made bigger. So that's the affirmations. 
The star breathing has had a much bigger makeover. I just wanted it to be more eye-catching when you see it. It's no longer got a hangy hole for hanging my stickers up to display them. I've done away with that. Um, so all of the stars in the background, they're not stickers. However, there's nothing stopping you if you wanted to peeling that off the backing and cutting and using them. The star breathing header is a sticker on the yellow and so is the heading here. Then this big star is a sticker and the instructions are a sticker. So that's the same as before. Everything is the same, just the colours are a little bit richer, the print is a little bit clearer and we've got a yellow backing on the star breathing title. But yeah, you can use these little star elements and cut them and use them as stickers if you want to or if not it just adds a bit more pizzazz let's say to the sticker sheet. The notes to self has had a makeover. We've done away with the orange colour and replaced it with a lilac. I have noticed the top one on each is a little bit marked so I need to have a look at that. Um, Again, I've updated the font, all the fonts are kind of matching. I've updated to do the matching colours. But this kind of purpley blue is supposed to be my brand colour blue, but it's coming off a bit purple. And I don't know why the colour is so different on the backing to the heading. Like this dark blue in the background of the kind of crosshatch design, that should be the same as that. And I'm not sure why it's not coming off like that. So I need to check that. It really doesn't matter in terms of selling the stickers, but just in terms of branding, I'd like change that moving forward when I did a reorder, but we've got a lot to get through first. Um, so that's that one. And then positive affirmations. This is a really old sun bleached one. Um, I have simply made things bigger so that you've got slightly bigger stickers and making the most use of the space and, and just having the quotes a bit more impactful. I really like, again, the deeper black on the stickers, I think just makes it more impactful. But again, this header pink and this pink should be aligning and they're not, so I need to check what I've done there for future. But I think the sticker sheet itself is fab. It's more eye-catching. I think the quotes look great. And I'm happy with them. So that is all my sticker sheets for now. Okay, so now I've got all the individual stickers out. I've got one of each. And what I'll do is I'll show you the before and afters. I've got two of those. So let's make a pile. So this is the new Positive Pants. And this one is exactly the same design as before. So that's just for comparison what it looked like before and it's come out pretty much the same but the colours are just a little bit more saturated and vibrant in this one which I really love. Then the sloth has had an update, that was one of my very first stickers. So it used to look like this, it had more of a sketchy outline and different fonts and colours and stuff and I've just updated it so that it looks more consistent with my other designs and just sleeker, simpler, bolder outlines. Updated the font and changed the colours a little bit so they match other stickers across the board. We've got these two which are very very similar, just tweak the colours slightly. The blackboard sticker I think came out really, really nice. I think just the detailing on the chalky lettering is so much clearer because the black is so much deeper on this new one. Um, so I really love those. The snail also had a redesign, same as the sloth and the same with the turtle as well because those three were really really early designs so the designs are pretty much the same but everything's just been updated so it's a lot sleeker and new colors and stuff the camera has had new fonts and colors and i think it looks really cute this one my neurodiversity powers the world is the same it's just the colours have printed slightly differently. The Too Many Tabs sticker, I really love the update 
I love having the colourful quote in here rather than just black text how it was and on the creamy background I just think it ties in really well. These colours again match the other colours across the whole collection of stickers and I think it's really sweet. Had a little bit of a colour update on the Dare to be Different plus a thicker outline on the text. These quote stickers again, new colours, thicker outline and the same with the overthinking. And then we've got the shredder and this is the grounding sticker which these are really really popular and then this one I haven't actually got any more left of in the old design this was a red text and I don't really have red anywhere else in my collection so I changed it to a pink and I really like how it turned out and then these are the new stickers so we've got the autumn is when coziness hugs us all rainy days won't last forever this is the one day at a time to match my pin and the bullshit repellent to match my pin and the mascara to match the pin i really love that one then we've got be a flamingo in a flock of pigeons the typewriter that matches the new key ring you can start writing a new story at any time and then another autumn one this take care of yourself you deserve it so they're my new ones I realized that I don't have any of these and I thought I'd ordered these um, so I went back and checked and that was actually my mistake I missed them so let me know if you want to see this one back in the comments and all the other stickers that are currently on sale that I haven't shown you are less popular ones that I'm going to be taking off sale for now but I will be selling off all my current stock so look out for details of a sale on that one but as for these stickers, um, the only thing I will say about them is I hadn't anticipated these being glossy. The sticker sheets are matte, like I showed you, and they didn't ask me if I wanted it matte or glossy because I just emailed them with the details and they said, oh, you don't need to order through the website, it's fine, we can just handle it. But they didn't ask me if I wanted matte or glossy and I just ended up with glossy, which must be what's standard but they are the same price I think next time I would go matte because that's what I've always done but let me know your preference with die cuts do you prefer matte or glossy or you don't mind it'd be really useful to know if you could let me know in the comments that would be amazing um, but these all came within a couple of days of ordering them really really fast these are all from sticker shop and yeah no problems really the only other thing I will say is wherever they get their materials from, I don't know if this is going to pick up on camera, but the website and the logo of whatever company that is, is on the back of some of the stickers, depending where they've been cut. Like that's got a bit of a website on the back. And I've never used materials that have anything on the back because I don't like it. There is a bit of a logo if that's showing up. And then, yeah, you've got a bit of a website. And I've, yeah, never chosen materials that have anything like that on the back because I just think it looks, I don't know, less professional and a bit messy. But let me know if that bothers you. But, yeah, the main thing I would love you to let me know about is the glossy versus matte stickers. That would be really useful. And then I have just had another sticker package arrive. So let me grab it. So I haven't actually taken the stickers out of here because I wanted to open it on camera. This is from Sticker It. Now, when I was looking for sticker manufacturers in the UK, Sticker It was another one that I came across. And they kindly said that they would send me some stickers free of charge for me to just see what their stickers were like, see the quality. So again, I emailed them with the requirements. They were happy to place the order that way with me so that I could ask questions of things I wasn't sure of. And I will say this was a bit slower. The ordering process was a little bit slower and the manufacture and dispatch time. I waited about a week and a half, I'd say, before I got these in the post. Um, however, it was a free of charge order, so I don't know if they kind of slot it in as and when. 
or whether that's standard, but obviously just bear that in mind when you are placing an order that you need to leave that extra window of time. But let's, ooh, ooh, I'm so scared. I have made two of my stickers glittery to match two of my glittery pins. Let me grab them so I can show you what they're to match. So, I have this pin here, which used to be a coral color and is now a pink, the self-doubt remover, and the like rem self-doubt remover cream part is a white glitter. And then I've also got this Stay Positive enamel pin, which I'm having redesigned in silver at the moment. Um, these are the last few that are available and there's a pink glitter here. This started as a sticker. This was the original design and then I made it into a pin. And so I wanna sell these off and make the design more like this to match and have it as a glitter sticker. So that, yeah, the two are the same. So that's what I've ordered, stickers to match and I don't know what they're gonna be like, and I'm very nervous. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. These are the ones where I feel like it's a bit harder to predict what they're gonna look like when they arrive, a glitter sticker, because you kinda of can't fully mock it up. Let's get one of each out. Oh, I do love them, actually. Are these matte? I don't think I asked. No, I didn't ask. Okay. Oh, okay, these are actually really cute. So this one, that's actually really sweet how it's got this kind of holographic glittery effect on that part of the battery. I maybe would have done it there as well next time on the end. Um, but I darkened this pink so that it matched I believe it matches the other pink. Let's see if they actually look the same. Yeah, like it's supposed to be like that overthinking pink that is everywhere through the collection. And then this hot pink, it's just a hot pink. I don't know if it matches anything else. Um, but I, originally this came back, um, the proof came back as a silver glitter and I said, is there any way you can do a pink glitter to match the color pink that it was? And this is what they've come back with. And I think that's really cute. I love that shiny, shiny. Um, the rest of the sticker is gloss. I think it's got a white border. I don't think it's on clear, but let me just see. Oh, it might be, yeah. Because I put a white border on it, it's white. Um, otherwise, the back of the sticker looks like this silver hollow glittery and that's what would have been round the edge and I actually think it looks a lot cleaner with the white edge that I gave them but you can have it with the matching sparkly edging and then this is the self-doubt remover which again I came back and said can you make it a little bit pinky so it's mostly silver but with a bit of a pinky tinge to the cream in the glitter and I like that effect. I like having something slightly different in a few of the stickers. These are obviously ones that I'm more nervous about getting people's reactions about, I think. I think that's what's going on with me is the stickers themselves are beautiful and I really love this glitter effect. I'm nervous if other people will like them because I've not had glitter stickers in the shop before. So let me know in the comments. Um, and I will get these up in the shop ASAP because these ones took a bit longer to come so I didn't release them with the other ones. But I really like how they turned out, what do you think? And I love the fact that I was able to say to sticker it, I only want one part of the design to be glittery and actually can you make it this colour? And they've just done it. Absolutely amazing. And I just love the shine. It's like having a disco ball in a sticker. So thank you so much, Sticker It. We're gonna see how popular these are. But I think people will love a bit of sparkle. Let me know. So overall, I will say that 
It was a process getting these stickers manufactured and that is only because of reformatting my stickers from how I used to create them ready for Silhouette Studio and I used to do the last bits of formatting in that software ready to print and then cut with the Silhouette. And so having to go back in and make sure everything was within the one file that I was able to then export and send to an external manufacturer just took me time. However, moving forward, any new designs and like these new ones, for example, I just designed them with that in mind. And so the process was so much quicker. It was just redoing old work really that took the time. But I will say that both manufacturers I used were super helpful with answering all my many questions. Um, I really do recommend trying to save up your designs and order a load together rather than ordering just one or two at a time if you can. Maybe that's all the designs you are producing in one go but if you know you're going to be producing more try and order them all at the same time because it will just bring the cost down a bit for you. I am just so excited for the time this is going to save me. I've placed a big order of all these stickers and the amount of time that would have taken me to print and cut Oh, it just would have been days and days of work that I could be doing something else for my business or in my personal life, you know. It just frees up so much more time to balance things and to be able to work on other projects. And so it's great that we have got really good manufacturers here in the UK. When I was doing all that printing and cutting at the beginning of this video, it just felt soul destroying because like I said, I'd got to the point where I thought I'm not doing this anymore. And then before I'd had the chance to reformat everything, I needed to restock a load of stuff for my shops that I'm stocked in. And this is the way forward for me now. I am going to carry on getting them manufactured externally. But it'd be great if you could let me know how you get on with them, um, how they are in comparison, if you buy any of the stickers, whether you prefer a matte or glossy finish, whether you like the glitter finish, all of those things. It would be really great if you could leave a comment or drop me a message and let me know, leave me some feedback, however you want to do it, because it just really helps me in ordering the products that you want to see. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you Sticker It for providing me with these gorgeous shiny glitter stickers to have a play with and see how people like. And make sure you keep your eyes peeled for my big sticker sale happening this week where I'll be selling off all the old formatted stickers and I'll have really amazing deals on those while stocks last. So make sure you check that out. Probably the best place to look is on my website at planninspirecreate.com or planninspirecreate on Instagram. And I will see you next week for another video.